My name is David Rhodes and I am playing the home plate umpire. Very important role. Uh, I mean, you can find me on Snapchat, um, Rhodes underscore trip. Same with Instagram, Rhodes underscore trip. Um, on Twitter, I'm at Rhodes411. Um, hoping to change that eventually at some point because that was my old handle. Um, and over time, I've transitioned into a different type of stuff. So uh, I've gone with Rhodes trip, which is, you know, catching, catch on whatever, play on words with my names or whatever. But, um, but yeah, I guess those are, the, those are the main places you would find me personally uh, in terms of content creation. So Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, yeah. The character I play, his name is Umpire Dave. He's an angry fellow. Um, he seems to get into arguments with people on the, uh, the old baseball diamond there. Uh, so I'm ready to get in some arguments, you know, and start some S-H-I-T. So I think a lot of the anger is that my shoes are too small. Uh, so as a result, my toes are pinched. And I'm gonna use that to fuel the inner fire within me to be a dick of an up. Oh yeah, they are. These are like these are like size nine, and we're like eleven. So these are like my toes are like. Err. Yeah, I first started on Twitter back in actually I was kind of late to the game, like 2011 actually. Uh, I started off doing like funny tweets and stuff like that, and kind of over time I've kind of developed a different brand where I'm, I do a lot of like storytelling and find like adventure travel stuff as well. So I kind of create stories like that through all my social media channels. But that's kind of short, short story. That's kind of my my progression of uh, as a content creator in that sense. Yeah. So I mean, so initially when I when I first joined Twitter, obviously at Rhodes was taken and I you know, couldn't think of anything else and I just thought of like, okay, well 411, like what's the 411 on me? What's the scoop on me? So I was like, okay, well Rhodes 411, that makes sense. So, and then it wasn't until I went to England in 2016 for like a Snapchat award thing. I was speaking at an event and I was up for an award and I was there and while I was like, speaking at the event and I, I realized that the term 411 doesn't translate in the UK. It's, it's only a North American term. So I was kind of like, well, that's interesting. I didn't even know that. So that was like, okay, well, that made me want to change it to begin with, let alone the fact that the term 411 is becoming very obsolete over time. You know what I mean? So I, like, I'm aging myself by using the term 411. So I'm like, well, I got to, and plus I started doing a lot more travel related content anyway. So I was like, you know what, how can I kind of pivot my, my brand name, you know, without with keeping my name, but just kind of pivoting it in terms of what it is. So went with Road's Trip and I you know, feel, I feel good about that one. I mean, I, well, I, so I did like musicals when I was a kid. So when I was, a, when I was young, I did acting. Um, and then I didn't really do much up until, I guess, I mean, I do, I do a lot of on-camera stuff because of what I do from content creation standpoint. So I guess in some ways you're acting in certain things. A lot of times you're just kind of being yourself as well, but still maybe like hosting a, your own show or what kind of, that kind of stuff. So um, I would say this is my first like, in my adult years, my first like on set uh, actor experience. I've worked on set in the past on like shows, but never in the acting space. So uh, it's, it's new in that sense, but I, I feel comfortable with the camera and stuff. Like I, I mean, like I said, I, I do it all every day on my phone, right? So it's, I mean, I know it's different, but at the same time, like it kind of preps you for stuff like this, which is nice. So that's good. Bigger yeah, bigger camera and just a few more cameras <laughs> instead of a little tiny, you know, phone. <laughs> Back, like I was working on TV like right out of university for a, a couple of years. Doing a, I mean, started off as a PA, of course, and then went up to doing stuff like I did some writing, I did some AD work, some of the locations manager stuff. Just a mix of like, a mix of different things. <laughs> yeah. Well, so the, I mean, the stuff I do on like Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. I mean, like obviously I'm, I play a more of a happy, like upbeat person. Uh, well, not play. I mean, it's just me, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I play myself, but you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm much more happy than be. So this is kind of a bit of a different vibe where I'm going to be more of like an angry kind of whatever. But I mean, like back in the days when we were shooting vines and stuff like that on Vine, like, you know, we did a lot of comedy videos and stuff like that and different, play different types of things. So, I mean, I'm okay, I'm okay going angry if I have to for a role, you know? Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you want to see more like it, check out the videos to my right. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to check out The Ninth on CBC.